Success means different things to different football clubs. For smaller clubs, staying in the top division long enough to grow is success. For larger clubs like Real Madrid, success means winning trophies and achieving top finishes. In my Manchester United video, I discussed what a local pundit considered a successful season. Now, using my expertise, I'll define a successful season for Real Madrid. Winning at least one trophy, finishing in the top two in La Liga, and advancing to the Champions League quarterfinals. With Real Madrid being the club with the most trophies across all top five leagues, their standard for success is incredibly high. Cristiano Ronaldo is an icon at Madrid, often considered the greatest player of all time. This video explores Real Madrid's success with Ronaldo compared to after his departure. I'll use my defined success criteria to determine if Ronaldo was truly the difference maker in Real Madrid's successful years in the 2000s. Cristiano Ronaldo is great, but if you join the 490 beautiful bucks, I guarantee you'll feel even better than Ronaldo himself. On to the video. Cristiano Ronaldo's career is remarkable. The Ballon d'Or race hasn't been the same since Messi and Ronaldo are on the backside of their careers. Ronaldo spent nine of his best seasons at Madrid, putting up insane numbers. He scored 451 goals in 438 matches, showcasing his consistency and finishing ability. His seasonal goal tallies were extraordinary, putting up 50 goals or more in six of his nine seasons, two of which were over 60. If you just look at the sheer numbers of goals put up per season, no one is even really close to that anymore. Ronaldo's versatility and dynamic playing style made him one of the most formidable attackers. Initially a winger, he used his pace, agility, and technical prowess to excel in one-on-one -on -one situations. Standing at 1.87 meters tall or 6 foot 1, his strength jumping ability, and heading accuracy made him a formidable aerial threat. As his career progressed, he transitioned to a more central role, enhancing his goal-scoring ability with powerful, accurate shots from both inside the penalty area and from distance. A master of set pieces, Ronaldo is known for his bending free kicks. Ronaldo's playing style evolved to suit the demands of different tactical systems. From being a prolific scorer in a counter-attacking setup to adopting a more creative role, dropping deep to participate in build-up play and create opportunities for teammates. His intelligent movement both on and off the ball and his positional sense allow him to find space and score from just a few touches. Even as he aged, Ronaldo adapted his game to focus on short distance creating and finishing maintaining his high level of performance. His versatility combined with his physical fitness and work ethic has enabled him to continue excelling as a free roaming center forward, solidifying his reputation as one of football's greatest players. Ronaldo's tenure at Real Madrid is marked by extraordinary achievements. His incredible scoring rate helped Madrid secure numerous titles, Ronaldo's influence extended beyond team success. His individual accolades during this period are staggering. He won the prestigious Ballon d'Or four times while at Real Madrid, tying with Lionel Messi in overall wins. Additionally, he was named the best FIFA men's player in 2016 and 2017 and claimed the UEFA Best Player in Europe award in 2014, 16, and 17. Ronaldo's consistent excellence earned him numerous other awards, including multiple FIFA, FIFA Pro World, World 11 selections, and UEFA Team of the Year honors. To be honest, it doesn't get much more impressive than that for a nine-year stretch, but we already know how spectacular Ronaldo was. This is about Madrid's success with him. So, let's go back to my qualifications for a successful season at Real Madrid. Remember, at the minimum, one trophy needs to be won, a top two finish in La Liga, and advancing to the quarterfinals in the Champions League. The 2009-10 season, Ronaldo was the team's top scorer, 
leading Madrid to second place in La Liga, three points shy of Barcelona. But they were knocked out of the Copa del Rey in the round of 32 by Alcarcón, and the Champions League in the round of 16 by Marseille. So it wasn't successful. In the 2010-11 season, Ronaldo led Madrid and the league in scoring, guiding them to another second place finish in La Liga. But this time around, they won the Copa del Rey against Barcelona and made it to the Champions League semi-final. This year was a success. The 2011-12 season, Madrid won La Liga, finally getting the better of their rivals and setting multiple league records, including 100 points in a single season, scoring 121 goals, and a goal differential of plus 89. They also reached the Champions League semifinals, losing to Bayern Munich in a penalty shootout. This year was a success as well. The 2012-13 season, Ronaldo led Madrid in goals again, finishing second in La Liga, Runners up in the Copa del Rey and losing in the Champions League semifinals, they just needed a trophy. Well, they ended up winning the Supercopa de España. So, this was also a successful season. The 2013-14 season, Madrid finished third in La Liga, behind Atletico and Barcelona, losing the second spot by only one goal on goal differential. They won the Copa del Rey and the Champions League, but the third place finish in La Liga disqualifies this as a successful season by my standards. The 2014-15 season, Ronaldo scored 48 goals in La Liga, leading Madrid to a second place finish. They reached the Champions League semifinals and won the FIFA Club World Cup and the UEFA Super Cup. Sounds like a super success to me. The 2015-16 season, Madrid finished second in La Liga and won the Champions League again. Another success in my book. The 2016-17 season, Madrid won La Liga and the Champions League, along with the UEFA Super Cup and the Club World Cup, marking it their most successful season with Ronaldo in regards to trophies. This was a success. The 2017-18 season was unfortunately Ronaldo's last for Madrid. And Madrid finished third in La Liga, but they won four trophies, including a third straight Champions League. Under my standards, it's still not a success. Overall, Ronaldo had six successful seasons out of nine at Real Madrid, giving him a 66% success rate according to my criteria. Let's now look at Real Madrid's performance after Ronaldo. The 2018-19, Madrid finished third in La Liga and they lost in the Champions League round of 16, but they did win the Club World Cup. Regardless, it was not a success. The 2019-20 season, Madrid did win La Liga but they were knocked out of the Champions League in the round of 16. I want to say this season doesn't count due to COVID, but it would have been a failure anyways. The 2020-21 season, no trophies were earned this year, but this season marked the emergence of key players in this new look Real Madrid team like Vinicius Jr., Rodrigo, and Valverde. Unfortunately though, this was not a successful season. Things turn around right around now. The 2021-22 season, Madrid won La Liga, the Champions League, and the Supercopa de España, completing a treble. They also brought in Eduardo Camavinga, another crucial piece to their young core. A big success here. The 2022-23 season, Madrid finished second in La Liga, won the Copa del Rey, and reached the Champions League semifinals. This season wasn't all good though, as they saw longtime players of the club leave, like Bale, Isco, Casemiro, and Marcelo. Either way, it was a successful season in my book. The 2023-24 season, which we just had, was so impressive from these youngsters. Of course, they did have Luka Modric and Toni Kroos, but the young core is there. Madrid won La Liga, the Supercopa de España, and the Champions League, completing another treble. They also brought in more key young players like Jude Bellingham and Arda Guler to solidify this new look team. Another success in my book, and to be honest with you, I don't see them having many more failure seasons with this group of players. Post Ronaldo, Madrid had three straight unsuccessful seasons, but then achieved three straight right away, giving them a 50% success rate so far. Ronaldo's impact on Real Madrid was immense, and replacing one of the greatest footballers of all time is no easy feat. However, Madrid has shown resilience and adapted well, achieving notable success in recent seasons. Factors like Barcelona's financial problems have also played a role in Madrid's resurgence. 
While Ronaldo's presence undeniably elevated Real Madrid, the club's current trajectory suggests that they may continue to achieve success and potentially surpass their accomplishments during Ronaldo's era. I will revisit this question after three more seasons to compare nine seasons with and without Ronaldo. For now, it's safe to say that Ronaldo was a significant factor in Real Madrid's success, but the club's legacy and strength ensure that they remain competitive at the highest level. <laughs>